All right, hey guys. Um, so I'm live now. I don't know if nobody's got on here yet, but I just got the update on my phone about Mike Matheny getting fired from the Cardinals. And I got to tell you, as a big time Cardinals fan, I am not cool about that at all. He was, uh, he's, he's one of my favorite managers that we've ever had. Of course, La Russa was the best, but he did get us to the playoffs and everything. And man, I got to tell you, you know, the Cardinals beat the White Sox 14 to 2 a couple nights ago. And then they get shut out. And then yesterday it's like 9-1 to at home against Cincinnati. And then they're winning that game tonight. Of course, the rain delays kind of messed up. But, I mean, they came back. and It's like they weren't even ready to play. And it stinks that that happened, guys. I really liked Mike Matheny. Um, I'm a Christian, and he's a great Christian person, and I'm glad to see that. But, man, the results just aren't there. I don't know if it's his fault, though. That's what makes me kind of upset about it. Like, I'm not, I am not happy about it at all because I think he's such a good person. And I really think he's, like, he was trying. And I don't know, guys. It, it just really bothers me. Like I said, I don't know who you're going to get to replace him today. I don't even know who Mike Schilt is on the team. Um, so that's something for me that I didn't even, like, expect. And then, of course, John Mabry's gone. And uh, Bill Miller is gone. So those are some big names. John Mabry's a big Cardinals, you know, um, uh, name. He was a good hitter there, especially in the, you know, around 2000. Not a big name as in all baseball, but uh, my goodness. So the uh, ESPN article says they've relieved him. Um, then the Cardinals also did a press release today. Uh, it's like they were just ready for this. Um, Mike Matheny has served St. Louis um, with tremendous dedication and pride. I'm thankful for his service says um, Bill DeWitt, on behalf of the entire Cardinals organization, I'd like to wish Mike the very best. He's 47 years old. He was the 49th manager named back in 2011. They did go to, uh, he got to the postseason in 12, 13, 14, and 15. He got to, uh, they got to the World Series in 13, guys. Um, you know, John Mozilek said these decisions are never easy. And I think for me personally, especially with the last few years, they... They did a good job of like letting letting him stick it out and let him do his thing. So uh, Schilt has been a member of the Cardinals organization since '04. He's served on the team's major league coaching staff the past two years. He's from North Carolina. Uh, he's managed eight years in the Cardinals farm system, where his clubs won league championships in '10 and '11. Of course, the Cardinals won the 2011 World Series. Hey, Bradley Weeks. Uh, no, we're not hiring Nick Saban. I know all you Tennessee fans would like that. Um. Uh, so the team plans to hold a news conference tomorrow morning at 11 with the Cardinals chairman and chief executive Bill DeWitt and kind of uh, discuss this further. It's the first time the Cardinals have changed managers during a season since 1995 when Joe Torre was replaced by Mike Jorgensen. I forgot Mike Jorgensen even coached there. It's been so long. The Cardinals made the announcement shortly after their 8-2 loss to the Reds on Saturday. Um, Matheny joined the Cardinals on November of 2011. He went 591 and 574. He got fired because of their saying basically because they really didn't say the exact reason as in it's just they're not performing well they're 47 and 46 they have a very good roster he's just one of four managers to manage at least 1,000 games with the club including Tony La Russa, Red Sheenness, and Whitey Herzog so we know Red just passed away recently too that's very sad they're in third place they're losing to the Reds um, they've lost games to the Marlins this year who were really bad so it's just kind of like it was I think it was something they were like, you know what, if he does not get on track before the All-Star break, we're going to have to make a move because the Cardinals, Cardinal fans, we expect to win. We're nice. We'll give you chances. But, man, you've got to start. you start, You got to start performing, and, and especially in this regular season. So, yeah, so that's the reasons for letting him go. They're just not performing well. Their record, they're basically 500. 500 team. I am sad, too. I really am sad, too, St. Louis Plaz. I'm going to tell you, he's such a good guy. He's respectable. He, you know, he's never yelling at umpires. He doesn't cuss. He's he's got it. He's he's a good family man. He's a good person. So I hate to see that happen. And I just I wish him the best. Uh, who do I want to see take charge? <sighs> That's a big question. It seems like they knew what they were doing with promoting Mike to take his place, and um, <laughs> um, and now it seems like they knew what he's doing. This guy's been with the Cardinals a long time. He knows all the players. Um, he helped, you know, he's been in the farm system, so he knew the new guys. Yes, I think it was smart um, to, ah, man, that's a tough one. Uh, that's, 
These guys, you know that was a tough decision for John and Bill to make, um, Cardinal fans. So if they did that, that was definitely a big thing. Bradley, I, this has nothing to do with LeBron James, but thank you for saying so. Um, these guys, they took a lot of time. They, they don't make decisions like this. It's just kind of like with the Albert Poole whole thing. I mean, that took a while. They, that didn't just happen. It was the whole season they had to work that out. So when somebody leaves St. Louis or gets fired from St. Louis, it's not just a small thing. Um, yeah, he did bring us to the World Series. I agree. So I feel like he did a great job while he was there. I mean, he has a winning – he has 100 more wins than losses. Over 100. It's like 120 more. He had a great record. He did a good thing. As long as we win, that's right. Um, so I hope the best for him. And I could see him going somewhere else and doing well. I don't think he's done with baseball. I am not in Missouri. I actually live in Alabama. I was born in St. Louis. And um, I moved here when I was 11, but all my families there I visit all the time. Uh, I watch every St. Louis game. You can ask my wife. I watch every St. Louis Cardinals game. So I and I keep up with them. I have I follow them all their Twitter pages. Um, uh, I didn't know that about um, Bud Hicks hazing uh, Hicks like that or Bud Norris hazing Hicks. I heard that was going on, but I didn't know Matheny was okay with that. But um, so that's the thing, and I appreciate the comment there too that said preach, guys. I appreciate that. Um, so that's that's all I got to say about that. Um, wait, can he be a hitting coach or something like that? Yeah, he could do that. Hey, you're in Columbia, Missouri. Go Midwest Cards Junkies. Man, um, he could be a great hitting coach because, I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't know what he's going to do next. Maybe this is going to help re revitalize him, refresh him. Um, Hicks and Norris, uh, they said that Bud Norris and Hicks kind of got into it. Kind of like where Hicks thinks he should be the closer, and Norris kind of had some trouble. Yeah, third base coach would be good. Um, that's what all I read about, and the Cardinals didn't uh, really go into it. Um, I don't know if he's going to be a coach with the Cardinals, guys. I think he's done with St. Louis. Um, that kind of stinks. Like you can't once you become the coach and the manager, you can't go lower than that. You have to kind of stay where you're at, you know. And the next when you're a manager, you've got to go. Uh, wow, you expect this after 16? That's crazy. But um, I don't know, like, yeah, it's crazy because I feel like St. Louis is kind of, they, they hit a plateau with him. It looks like they weren't going any farther. They were a decent competitive team. Oh, you were at the game today, True Drag. Wow, that's awesome, True Drag. Uh, that is awesome. So that stinks, though, man. You had to be there like six hours if you stayed the whole game. No one wants to be demoted. That is true. And especially when you get people to the playoffs. Hicks, I've been thinking that, too, that he should be the closer. Um. He'll be better leaving. Yeah, he'll probably he'll do okay. Hicks would be a great close. When you throw 105 and you can keep it in control, I'm not happy, Jack. Um, I'm not happy. I I'm hope I will be happy if St. Louis does well. Um, I'm not happy that he had to get fired for it to happen. So that's what I'm saying. But I do think it's going to be the best thing in the end. You want to keep a good guy like that, somebody who represents your organization. It's not like somebody's like, man, that your 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 manager's you know. Uh, a disgrace. He's not that guy. I don't feel like he's a disgrace. He's not leaving. Yes, with a sink at 105. He's not leaving like with his tail between his legs. He's he's going out with dignity. He's a good. He's, they're not like some horrible. They don't even have a losing record now. And yes, we might make it to the postseason. I don't want to make it. I want to win the division. That's going to be tough with the Cubs guys. But um, with the way they're playing, man, we got a big series next weekend too. Five games against the Cubs next weekend. And you know they're thinking about that. They got the All-Star break to kind of regroup after this game tomorrow. And then they got that – it's five games in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I got that right. I couldn't remember um, when we – yeah, Cubs and Brewers. You got to catch them both. Um, but you know what? I want to tip my hat to Mike and wish him and his family the very best. The same way I did with Pujols because he deserved um, – you know, I supported him. That's the biggest move I can think of in the past ten years with the Cardinals. Um, so I tip my hat uh, to, to Mike and his family. I hope they do well. And go Cardinals. So I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. As a Cardinal fan, you got to get out there and talk. And you got to support your team, guys. Um, hey, I agree, Jack. I like that. Uh, I like that a lot. I uh, definitely think we're going to be competitors in 19 as well. I um, hope this year, all my friends are sharing it from St. Louis, my, my cousins. Um, yeah, Cubs definitely need some better pitching. Yes, all my cousins are already talking about it. Man, this is big news, guys, in St. Louis. This is huge. Uh, hey, see you, man. I appreciate it, Midwest Cars Junkies. I appreciate it. And go Cars and stay faithful to the team. You too, Nightwing Fan 101. Uh, St. Louis Plaz, how do you think we'll do this year? 
teams can like this, this will be a spark. You know, they're going to be like, dang, man, we really need to do it. We really need a spark. We, you know, we, our manager's gone. It's on us now. We can't blame anybody now but us. So when you put an interim manager in, and then it's on the players, guys. It doesn't fall on a manager now. It's on the players. So they're going to have to they're going to have to pick it up. I'm not saying they haven't. Guys like Carpenter have picked it up and Fam and Joe Girardi. That would be cool. That would be cool indeed. And you know, it'd be a Yankee going to the Cards instead of a Cardinals going to the Yankees like Joe Torre. The Cardinals record will be I hope it's right now they're on pace to get, you know, upper 80s and wins, but if they go on a nice streak where they win 10, 12 in a row, guys, we could win 92, 93 games. And either get the, you know, at least get the first wild card. I mean, it's a very good chance. So I still have a lot of hope. These, these are some good players on this team. Wainwright's been out the whole year. Uh, DeYoung was out with injury. This team, once they get to full strength, when I feel like they're good, guys, we got a long way to go. And this, this is a long season, guys. You got 162 to play. You know, it's not a hundred game season. We're only at a hundred, not even a hundred. Um, well, you stayed that whole game. Did you? I hope you had an umbrella, <laughs> or maybe you went in, in inside the stadium. Oh man, that stinks about Matheny, guys. It really does. So, hey, I appreciate all you guys watching this. I've been going for about 11 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap this up. But if you have any other comments, please feel free to share them. Alex Reyes, um, yes, Nightwing fan, there is definitely time, definitely lots of time left. Uh, Alex Reyes, I think he's great. Um, I don't know if they rushed him back because it was kind of like a separate injury. Sometimes you work so hard on that one thing that's injured that something else can mess up because you were so focused on that or weren't working that as well. So I think he'll be, he needed the rest of this year and he'll be back. Hey, see you, Jack. I appreciate it very much. Go cards. Um, man, I got 22 people watching right now, so it's kind of hard to get off of here. And I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me here. Um, again, I'm from St. Louis originally. And, um, no, Yachty will not leave. He is not going to leave. He will retire before he leaves St. Louis, guys. I will tell you that. And they, he signed that, what, that three- or four-year contract? He's not. Go Cards, Kyle. Um, he is He is not going anywhere. Uh, Yachty will retire a Cardinal. And if they say, hey, man, we're thinking about trading you, uh, <laughs> you went inside. Um, if they think about trading him, he will say, you know what, guys, I'll just hang it up here. Um, or go, you know, Mike Shield is a front runner. Um, thank you, Brad. Do you watch the Cardinals, Brad? Because I don't know if you do, buddy. <laughs> you might be on the wrong uh, the wrong voice here, buddy. But um, so again, just to recap, I'm from St. Louis. Um, I'll try and do more uh, live streams, buddy. Um, so I am from St. Louis. I live in Alabama, but I watch. I like I tell you, I watch every Cardinal game. Um, I follow every Twitter I can on St. Louis um, from all the writers. Dan McLaughlin, of course, I follow. I, by the way, let me ask you guys: Who is your favorite color commentator? Um, is it Jim Edmonds, do you like Brad Thompson, or do you still like Al? And I kind of like the fact they rotate different ones in, but I have to say I lean towards Jim Edmonds. I love Jim Edmonds. Um, very cool. CBS, please, yeah, keep track of those scores. You like, I love Dan. Yeah, Dan's the best, and he does every game. Um, do you guys like Edmonds? Do you like, um, who was the other guys? I said Al Herboski, or do you like Brad Thompson? Because those guys are the three I usually hear um, calling those games. So if you guys are watching uh, and you say, man, I love who's, you know, because Jim Edmonds, he gets, it's like he gets into the game. He, I think he thinks he's actually down there batting. I like Al too. Al's good. Oh, oh my gosh, Tim McCarver. Totally forgot Tim McCarver, guys. I love Tim McCarver too. Jim Hayes. Yep, I like him too. You're right. Forgot about Jim Hayes. There's so many good ones there. I got to remember them all. Um, so... So yeah, I like him too. Actually, all the guys they have do the color, like the color commentary are great. And then of course the play-by-play, -play, Dan. I swear sometimes he's he's he could do Joe Buck's job, guys, for real. But um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up again. Uh, hats off to Mike Matheny. I love Dan McLaughlin too. Um, hats off the old guys, Al Herboski. <laughs> I know H R B O S K Y or whatever. He's got like the the Fu Manchu mustache. He's really he knows his stuff though. And then Tim McCarver, you know, former Cardinal, he won an MVP with the Cards. I think he caught he caught Bob uh, Gibson. So you gotta you gotta definitely uh, take that. But hey, go Cards! Cardinal Nation is is amazing. It's like some of the best fans. They support the team. Uh, sometimes I wish they were a little louder in the stadium, but that that's just my personal uh, thing. Besides that, they they're still there though. They are there. They're showing up, and it's probably louder than it seems on the you know, on TV. But Fox Sports, we are Fox Sports Midwest. That's good. That is good. 
Go Cards. All right, guys. Hey, again, thanks for watching my channel, um, and I'll try to do more like this. I used to have a sports channel, but then YouTube changed the monetization stuff, and then I couldn't even do video. It was just a whole mess. So I'll start to do more on this channel where I do mostly food reviews and stuff, but uh, I appreciate it. Again, hats off to Mike. I hope he does well. Happy trails. Um, once a Cardinal manager, always a Cardinal manager. So, I mean, his record's awesome. Guys, like a 60% win percentage. So you can't knock that. Um, and then, and again, I hope he does well. And he's going to go somewhere. He could be, he could do something. Brad Week says, go Braves. And you know what? Braves are having a good year, Brad. So you got something to look forward to. So keep it up. By the way, I want to play them again and hopefully get to sweep them this time. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching my channel. Go Cardinals. Uh, God bless you guys. Um, gateway to the West, guys. Best, uh, best baseball team in the majors and in the world. Peace.